What's going on, my friend? You are awesome. Today here on Drum Maverick, we are going to be getting rid of the annoying popping sound in Adobe Premiere Pro. When you have two audio files that's going from one audio file to the next one, there's a slight pop when it just, you're like, where is that coming from? Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to get rid of that. But before I do, I'm going to get rid of this crisp white strip. Oh, man. You know, it says here on the box that it can help grow teeth back. I don't think that's going to happen. All right, so with that being said, let's get into it. So what you need to do is you want to highlight a section of medium. And you want to scroll all the way down until you get to the volume area. Now, you have this little blue marker. You want to drag it all the way to the beginning. And then you want to bring this down to minus 26. 26, 25, doesn't matter. Then bring it forward just a touch. And then bring it back to zero. So basically what you're doing is you are making the audio file very quiet. And then it quickly gets back up to the normal audio volume. We're going to do the exact same thing on the end of this audio clip. But we're going to do minus 26 here. Then go back a little bit. And then put that back to zero. So we're basically making the audio file very quiet at the beginning and very quiet at the very end of your file. That way when the two audio files right here, right, you have these two files, when the two audio portions come together, they don't slam into each other and like pop. So that it gets rid of that. So if you go back, you don't hear the popping right there. So that's, keep going. And you, you don't you don't hear it anymore. Now here's the cool thing. What you do is you can, if you got multiple files when you're doing this, you select your medium and then go up to volume, click it, and then press control C or control or command C. You're copying that volume time step and then you're going into, uh, you're going to go ahead and select all by pressing control A or command A and then you're going to go ahead and press control V or command V and you're putting those timestamps in every single file. That saves you a lot of time. It's a lot of work. Now, depending on the size of your audio file, you will have to make adjustments because they're not all the same size. So if we scroll down, okay, that one's all right. Go to the next one. If what you can do is you can actually just listen to all of your files and when you hear the popping, then you can go directly into that audio file and then just make the adjustments. So let's keep... Okay, so I found this one little spot where it pops again. So we're going to click it, scroll down, and you can see that these little things have to be on the end of your audio file. So you scroll down and then you uh, watch, watch what happens. See how it doesn't, it does not pop right there. So it's very, very handy to do. All right, so there was another little audio pop. Go ahead, you highlight it, scroll down, and then, okay, so I don't see the, that right there. So it probably is, um, this file is really short, so we just have to add another one. So you go all the way to the end, go to minus. 26 it, it doesn't have to be exact you could just make it just a little like 23 25 all right so then we go back a little bit back to i like to click on and hit zero bring it as close as possible let's see how it goes you see you hear that is there's you know you heard a little pop because i stopped it but when they transition there that's the real important thing it's very, very nice to have. Let's keep going. Uh, you, you've probably heard that little pop. Let's, uh, let's highlight this, scroll down. We don't see it. Go all the way to the end. Minus 26 or close to it. Go back just, a, grab that little marker, go back just a little bit. Highlight it, hit zero. So that it goes back to normal volume level. And then try to put that thing as close as possible. Let's listen to it. All right, 
right, so at the beginning of this one probably needs to be adjusted. All right, yeah, 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 I see that. Go ahead and move this to the end. Minus 26. We're making it super quiet at the beginning of the audio file and making it super quiet at the end of the audio file. So both, so these two files right here are, they're really quiet when they get to the end and at the beginning. So it gets rid of the popping sound. It brings the volume back up to normal so fast that you just can't tell. All right, guys, so that is it. That is how you get rid of the popping sound inside of Adobe Premiere Pro using a GoPro Hero Session 5. Or you may have not, you may not have this issue with another kind of GoPro, but I know that I've been having this problem and this is how you get rid of it. Again, I'm sorry that I don't know faster way to get rid of it, but you know, maybe in the future I'll figure it out and I'll put out another video. So with that being said, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below if you want to see more videos on Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to see me do more videos around the San Antonio, Texas area. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you on the next video.